Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 18th video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are clearing the understanding or the fundamentals of JavaScript, right? So that we can uh, do easily the ServiceNow development series because in ServiceNow development, we will code with JavaScript only, right? And also, this series is for everyone who wants to learn about uh, JavaScript fundamentals, who doesn't have any good knowledge in programming. They want to gain the knowledge, okay, to do advanced level of programming. So the basic fundamentals are very, very important to clear to go before going into the con uh, complex programming, right? Because all the concepts that we are learning, uh, like we have learned already array, functions, uh, then if else statement, today we are going to learn loops, uh, then we are going to learn class. These concepts are gonna help you to do complex programming. Without understanding this concept cleared, you won't be able to understand any of complex programming. Trust me. Okay, so before I start the class, just to let you know that I'm also doing a coding exercise uh, on every week. I'm posting videos and these are only for the members. So if you want to practice more the programming, then you can join this. So all you need to do is join my channel with a minimum level of subscription. It's there. I think it's affordable for everyone. All right, so let's go to the JavaScript class. All right, so this is my coding environment, Visual Studio Code, and here is the output in the Chrome console, right? So in the last video, you can see we have learned about different array methods, right? And before that, we have learned about array. So make sure you watch the array video. It's very, very important. And today we are going to execute uh, for loops inside of the array. That's gonna be very, very interesting. So make sure you watch the full video and let's learn this together. All right, so different array methods, I've shown you each and every examples of it, right? So if you missed that video, don't worry, I'm gonna put the link in the description and you can also find the link here on your screen. So let's do the quick thing. Let's first comment it out all this uh, thing. So I'll just make it comment and I'm gonna start the, sorry. All right, so it would be class 13 and where we are going to learn about for loops. So now before going to for loop, we have to understand what is loop, right? Loop means which, you know, which looping, I mean, uh, which continuously happening in a loop, right? Like in a circle or something like that. And then what's its implementation in the programming that we are gonna see. So, so now uh, why we need for loop? Now you're thinking that, okay, if it's a circle pritam or it's a repetition of something uh, continuously happening, then why we need for it, right? So now, Suppose, let me show you an example, very quick and a simple example, and then we can move into some complex ones. So I'm gonna print something, console.log, and maybe I want to print, uh, maybe something, uh, this is part one, something like that, okay? And if I just print it in the console, you know, and I want to print it like 10 times, so like part one to 10, okay? So what I need to do is that, I'm gonna do like that, right? I'll uh, print it 10 times because we still, we do not have any solution for that as per the class that is going for last 18 class, whatever we have learned, if this is the question or if this is the situation that we have to print this 10 times and also the value will change from one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, then every time I have to change like this two and then three, then four like this, right? So this would be a repetition of process and this is not making our programming easy, right? So this should not be the way, right? Now we are gonna use it loop. I will run it in a loop so that it prints every time one single line, like this bit print, like this part one, two, three, like this, okay? So how I'm gonna do that? So I'm gonna declare for. So for loop is one of the most uh, common loop in any programming language. Again, I'm telling this is not for JavaScript only. The for concept you have to use because this is very, very common and you would find it so useful with the help of inside of array also, right? So stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna write for, and now three things we have to declare here, three things, okay? First, I need a particular variable, okay? I need a particular variable whose job would be to print this line, that's our goal right now, to print this line every time, okay? I mean, each of the iteration. So maybe first time, second time, then we have to print it 10 times, right? That was the requirement. So I need first one variable. So I'm gonna call it maybe let i. In for loop, this i is very, very common. So when you declare a for loop, then inside of it, when you mention the you mention the variable, so mostly i is very common, but you can use any, any name that you want, okay? So we're gonna use i, and I would start i as a one. 
now this variable here i is one so this variable is nothing but the reputation variable okay so i told you this i would be responsible would to print it 10 times right so that's the variable who will do the repeat job okay now how this variable will understand this i will understand the i will understand that uh, okay i have to stop at 10 only i won't go to 11 how they would understand how i would understand so we have to put a condition so the second thing in the for loop is the condition so the condition would be i the value of i should be less than 10 not 10 uh, so it actually less than equal to 10 so it can be either 10 or it's less than 10 it cannot be more than 10 it cannot be 11 right so i less than equal to 10 so this i is the repeat i stands for repetition so it print uh, again again this line part one part two part three like this and for how much for how many times this is the condition where you are defining that it's equal i mean it's not more than 10 right and the final thing is that once i this is a i right this is a repetition so once i will print the first uh, line that is a, this is part one right then it has to be part two right it has to increase so we are declaring the value of i is equal to one right we are not incrementing it we are mentioning a condition here that it would go up to 10 but this i has to increase right so that it moves to one two three four like that so for that i'm going to write i plus plus that's it that's how you declare the for statement okay i'm not saying the value would right so this is the kind of a syntax so the first value again i'm telling it's for the repetition then the condition and then incremental or it can be decremental so i plus plus means i value will go up plus one plus one every time or if i put i minus minus then the value of i would be uh, go to like 10 to 9 to 8 something like that okay now what i'm going to do is that okay i have done everything so now i have to write what this i what it would repeat actually so it would repeat the line sorry console dot log it would repeat this is part now now i cannot write one two three four because it would run as 10 times so the value of i will change so first it would be one then two three four like this so if i just mention the value this is the part and then just i print the value of i every time so it would be first one two three four something like that so that's it so first run it and let's see what it comes so i am going to remove all these lines so we don't need to write 10 lines to print 10 times a particular string we can do it with two lines with the help of for loop so let's see you can see the value is coming one two this is part so it's coming this is part one two three up to ten so again i'm explaining you how it's happening so first for this is the i that is responsible for the repetition job so it prints ten time because of the i right which initially i declared the value one okay now so how many times it would print it would print 10 times not more than 10 this is the condition that is understandable for you this is a conditional so i plus plus so how it working so uh, let i equal to one first time the value is i one and it is checking whether it's less than or equal to 10 it is true it is printing this is part and then i value of i which is the one so this line is printed right now it would see i plus plus so the value of i would become two now okay and two is less than or equal to 10 fine so it would print this is part the value of i is 2 now so it is printing this is part 2 right and till up to 9 till up to 10 right once it is becoming 11 then it is checking here 11 is not less than equal to 10 right so and it stops there right so it is stop it stops here in part 10 so this is how loop works i think you got the idea how loop is working now right now we are going to implement the same loop in our array so what i want to do is that i will make this as a comment okay and we have used the array right we're going to use the array so this is the array that last time we used in the last class uh, to show you different array method so i'm gonna copy this array and i told you that with array loop works great so i'm gonna print it out here this is the array so now now you know you have understood what is array now if i want to print each and every element of the array right if i just print console.log test array it would show me the full array but i want to print each and individual element of array so you know what i'm going to do is that console.log and i'm going to write test array then i'm going to put the zero zero stands for the first value you know 
so if i refresh it you see first it would come take with free so again if i need to print all of the element i have to write this and i have to make it as one then save and then you see it's coming as 100 so every time i need to write that but we are not going to do that we are going to use loop here so how i'm going to print all the elements of the array test array with the help of all loop so let's see i'm going to type for here and again i will declare the variable i in the loop and i will start with zero so why i'm starting with zero because you know the first value of array starts with zero the element of the array start with zero right so it's zero one two three so already these things are explained in the array array video so i'll start with the i equal to zero now here what would be the condition how many times it would print right so we know that the value is zero one two three so it should be less than four or get a, or less than equal to three to print it uh, four times right zero one two three four times right so you're gonna write four here and then we are gonna write i plus plus sorry i need to put semicolon uh yes and then which i'm what i'm gonna print is that i'm gonna print console dot log and here i'm going to print the test array and the value i so i will be incremental every time i plus plus have given so first time it would print zero then uh, one two three like that so i'm gonna refresh it and you see take with free then 100 then true and then 2000 minus 1000 so it's an expression and we can store expression in array you know that so this is coming as 1000 right now suppose this array is array has so many elements so for an example i'm going to add one more element here so it would be something like uh, roger okay now if i print that it won't come because i need to increase the count five this time so that it can print zero to four five elements you see it's coming now this is a very hectic thing right this is very simple example i'm showing but maybe array so array could be much more longer than this right so how we are going to print that in that case what do you need to do we know we have learned that in the array class that we can get the length of the array by using array sorry not array i mean name of the array so it's the test array here test array then dot length that's it so now whatever the length is it would print so it is less than that the total count of the length so right now if i add one more element like pritam okay and i don't need to do anything in the loop i'll just refresh it it would automatically add right so this is how we can print the elements of array with the help of the for loop and this is gonna help a lot trust me guys in the service now development as well as any complex programming uh if you want to do in javascript or any programming language so the usefulness of the loop inside of array it's very very famous okay so now you understand how loop works inside of an array right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use the program that we have uh, done last day here so this is a calculate age and we have print the storage here so i'm gonna print it here so i'm gonna make this particular line as comment as of now so now if i refresh it so it is coming so what we have done is here is that we pass the different value of array so first we have declared the array under the storage function so already these things i have explained just to tell you one more time and i've stored the value here and then i pass the value each and every time okay that easily you can understand we can do it with the help of loop uh, then we print the h and also i have put uh, we have checked the condition and put a new array i have clear created a blank array and then I put uh, all the value here, all the result value, right? So how we can achieve that same thing with the help of the uh, loop? Okay, so first let me declare the for loop here. So for, again, I'm gonna declare let i equal to uh, array, so I have to use zero. So i less than, then we know this is a birthier array, dot length, right? And i plus plus, and I want, the value should be sent like this i and we don't need this all thing right now the problem is so uh, okay i need to i forgot to give the bracket here so the bracket should be here end now uh, the thing is that this age is i'm declaring inside of the for loop and in that case it won't work i have to declare it outside as a globally 
so maybe i'll in the top i will declare like let age and that's it undefined value do not put anything here now so what i'm doing i declared a blank array in the storage function and here i have all the uh, you know birth year so each and every time the first time it would go 1992 it would go here and it would return and age will store the value this age so what we want is that we want to create a new array so i will just if close this if statement i don't need that okay so now inside of the loop what i want is that i want to also create a new array which is the adult array so i'll just name it adult this is the array dot push method which i'm gonna use and i'm gonna pass here the value of age that's it so what would happen here so when i'll call the storage function it will call the function here uh, and then from this line okay and the loop will start from here it will start from the zero so first time i equal to zero so the age here we declare this is a variable age equal to we are calling now the calculate age function this is a function calling inside of a function so you know that i'm calling the birth year and passing the value of i so first time i is zero so 1992 this is the value so it will go here 2023 minus 1992 and the answer will then store in this array adult dot push okay and then second time it would go for 1995 and it would add here the result okay so all i need to do here i need to return so this function will return so i'll just type return return the adult this is the array right so it would return the array, adult so this function is returning the value of adult so what we are going to get through this console.log so if we just refresh it you see now so all the results it is storing at 34 28 16 17 18 so a new array has created so okay there is a one more condition it was there it was there like if age is greater than 18 then store all this value right so what we can do right and also if i want here that only if the age is greater than 18 then only it would store in the adult age because right now it is storing 17 and 16 which does not define an adult right so it has to be greater than 18 so what we can do is that so after age is storing every time it would check before storing in the array so if age is greater than 18 and then run this here okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put this thing inside of the if statement okay and this is where the for loop ends so it starts from here ends. so let me and then i'm returning the adult so this time we are only gonna get 31 and 28 so this is more than 18 right so you see how with the help of loop things become very easy right so i want you to practice it uh, this loop in your personal uh, visual studio right uh, with different scenarios so if you want some scenario if you want to practice the coding exercise then again you can join my channel and it's with a minimum subscription and we'd have a good understanding right so this is all about for loop guys if you have any question let me know in the comment section hit the like button if you like the video and don't forget to share with your friends okay so bye bye see you in my next video